One of the doctors who first publicized the dangers of concussions in the NFL has now turned his attention to a device aimed at lessening their impact. As Contessa Brewer reports, it's all inspired by a small and very resilient type of bird. I am dying in here. I'm dying in here. Dr. All right? The movie Concussion highlights the long-term consequences of brain damage from football. In the film, Alec Baldwin plays real-life neurosurgeon Julian Bales. We realized years ago, a decade ago, that helmets weren't the answer. Helmets weren't working. Why? Helmets can't protect the brain from slosh when the brain slams against the skull. Bales and his partners were inspired by the woodpecker. It slams its head more than 80 million times over its lifetime without concussion. The bird's long tongue wraps around its head, compressing the jugular vein. Bales replicated that with a collar for humans that gently presses the jugular vein like a necktie, reducing blood flow out of the brain. That creates a backflow, about a teaspoon extra, making a tighter fit in the skull. So it's like bubble wrap for your brain. Yes, exactly. What's the downside to increasing the volume of blood inside the skull? There's none that we know of. This is such a novel device. The questions we get from parents, is it safe for my child? Independent investigator Dr. Gregory Meyer with Cincinnati Children's Hospital is leading a study. We didn't find any negative responses, so that, that gave us some confidence that this is, this is safe. But the, we have to take this to the playing field to, to really be sure about that. Researchers equipped high school players and found 1,000 routine head impacts in one season. Are you saying that there's some concern about whether there are changes to the brain even without traumatic brain injury? Yeah, so that's, that's a very important point. Maybe it's those repetitive hits that we need to really focus on and protect against. Researchers will publish the MRI results this month. They show a dramatic difference in the high school athletes not wearing the collar. The red shows changes to the brain over the season compared to the players wearing the collar. It's unbelievable. To, to be honest, it, it's, it, we're, we're looking at this and we're expecting to find nothing. This research could change not just protective gear in sports. It's a paradigm shifter where we change the way we, we study of protecting the brain. This is a game changer. The collar's not yet for sale. Performance Sports Group, which makes athletic equipment, has licensed the technology and is applying to the FDA for approval. It's hoping to bring the collar to market in the next year or two. Now, it's still early. There are skeptics, but this really has the potential, Jim, to change the approach many industries take to protecting the brain from injury. Bubble wrap for the brain. Really interesting. Thanks, Contessa.